the Henrietta Knight chases next to Grade 3 Handicap Chase. Three more, three and a half furlongs. The tree man at the top for Joshua Sutherland. Secret passageway, Leon Van Rensburg. There on time, David Hoodie. San Pedro Cartel, Reddy Gerard. Counting Wim, James Shea. Hammerly, Darren Thompson. Activist, Leon Van Rensburg. Sierra Vista Medusa, Vinnie Gerard. Plava Laguna, Patrick Hogan. King's Measure, John Morgan. Langley Streak and Tower Hamlets for Graham Clutterbuck. Uptown Lady, Jim Murray. Keep the contract. Craig Beckwith and Agent Arlen for Padraig Hogan. 15 of them in this. I'm wondering why I haven't got one in it. Um, it was a long time ago since I did the interest. Uh, I've obviously forgotten. But I've not got one in it. They're away and racing. I've only got one in this. These sort of distant races anyway. King's Measure is in the lead. Going to the first. It's, we don't have as many mishaps as we had in the last race. They're all safely over the first. And King's Measure. John Morgan front runner will set the pace as they get into the second. Which they all stream over nice, nicely. King's measure in front then from Tower Hamlets in second. And then Uptown Lady third, Hubbley fourth. There on, I'll keep the contract after that. And there on time. And towards the back, counting Wim is the back marker as they take fence number three. They will get over okay, and then they race towards the fence. It'll be the last in two circuits time. They've got to go around twice yet, and they're all over that one okay as well. With King's measure in the lead, then heading towards the winning post, then then out for a complete circuit of the track, followed by another complete circuit of the track. And King's measure is the leader, and I tell the joke I tell every year at this race. Nobody ever laughs, but there might be some new people who've not heard it. And they're all safely over it, and that is. Well, no, I'm not going to bother. It's King's Measure in the lead from Tower Hamlets in second. In comes Uptown Lady third. Hamley is back in fourth. Bit of a gap then to the Tree Man. Let's see if anybody can remember it. What's the joke I always tell about this race? Somebody put it in the forums. Over it up next one. It's good to see that people are listening to me because Paul Parsons, oh, I'm not going to say that in this one, Paul Parsons, I'm going to run it, so won't, no, I've mentioned him, so we won't mention that later as well. We get over the water, and we'll safely over that one. With King's measure in front, Tower Hamlet's in second, Uptown Lady is third, Hamley is fourth. Then comes the Tree Man, Secret Passageway, and Agent Arlen as they take this ditch, and we'll safely over the ditch. Heading towards number nine. They all get over nicely. San Pedro Cartel. The back marker at this stage for Vinnie Gerard. He's a little towards the back as well. Sierra Vista Medusa. Well, it's John Morgan's King's Measure in the lead. Leading by a good two lengths. Tower Hamlets is second as they get over this ditch. Oh, safely over the ditch as well there. Yeah, King's Measure continuing to lead. Tower Hamlets for Graham Clutterbuck second. Gap of five lengths back then to Jim Murray's Uptown Lady and Darren Thompson's Haberley. And the Tree Man. Kind of a gap then to Activist and Counting Wimp. On the inside, keep the contract, Secret Passageway. The two Padraig Hogan horses are running together as they take the 11th. Just then all over. Safely, the one that didn't jump at all that well was Activist, and that one's now dropped towards the rear. Langley Street is also in that group at the back. But King's Measure continues to lead. Two lengths clear of Tower Hamlets in second. The only grey in the field. Uptown Ladies in third. Then Hamley is fourth. Tree Man is fifth. And there's a gap to Plava Laguna. And Agent Arlen, the two Padraig Hogan horses on their outside. Sierra Vista Medusa is getting close to a mistake there by Uptown Lady. My two others at the back didn't jump in all that brilliantly either. They get over the 13th, which they all got over okay. And it's King's Measure as they get on their final circuit. King's Measure continuing to lead. Tower of Hamlet second. And Uptown Lady is in third as they take this next one. Which they all get over okay. Keep the contractors now 
drops to the back, but it's King's Measure and Tower Hamlet, so now matching strides as they head out on the back straight. Uptown Lady is third, Hamlet is fourth. Then comes the Tree Man, gap for a couple of lengths, then to Secret Passageway, who's getting closer. So to his Sierra Vista Medusa, then comes Activist as they take another plain fence and make their way towards the water jump for the final time with King's Measure about half a length up on Tower Hamlet, so they're a good four lengths clear of Haverley with Uptown Lady on the inside as they all get over the water. Uptown Lady jumped a little bit slowly and lost a length or two in the air. Haverley's now a clear third. And King's Measure still going well in the lead. Tower Hamlet is behind in second as they get over the 17th. Which they're all over okay. Langley Street, the back marker, all the fields still on their feet inside the final mile now. And King's Measure gets over the 18th in the lead. From Tower Hamlets over it in second. Happily is getting closer in third. Then Uptown Ladies back in fourth. Secret passageway and the tree man. Then Sierra Vista Medusa activist is starting to make a bit of a forward move. So to his San Pedro cartel. Plava Laguna and Agent Arlen have just dropped back a little bit. Three on time is trying to get closer as they get to the 19th. And over that one they go. With King's Measure in the lead. Leading by a bad ahead. To Tower Hamlets in second. In Happily is third, the tree man is fourth corner around the outside, Sierra Vista Medusa is now making a good looking run, has moved into third place, they've only got three more to take in the Henrietta Knight and it's King's Measure in the lead, from Tower Hamlet's in second, Sierra Vista Medusa, then tree man, here comes Secret Passageway and Activist, Uptown Lady is still there as well as they get over that third last, that, oh, but a mistake by Uptown Lady, that surely put pay to her chances and now it's Activist and Sierra Vista Medusa who go on, King's Measure is trying to fight back on the inside, the tree man trying to track him, then Secret Passageway, Tower Hamlet is now beaten, going round the outside Agent Arlen's trying to get into it, Hubbley's now got a second win, but it's Activist who leads with two to go, now Sierra Vista comes through to take it up, Plava Lagoon has been pulled up, King's Measure and the Tree Man coming through the inside, two to two to take then now, it's still wide open Sierra Vista Medusa is in front, King's Measure and the Tree Man, then the grey Uptown Lady over the second last to go, again Uptown Lady made a mistake, it's now between the Tree Man and King's Measure, Sierra Vista Medusa on the outside, over the final fence they go and a fall of with Sierra Vista Medusa and King's Measure has now got back into the lead and inside the final furlong it's King's Measure who's clear by two lengths. Happily's trying to chase him down. Uptown Ladies would run again in third but it's going to be King's Measure who's going to take this one. King's Measure takes it pretty comfortably in the end close for second just Uptown Lady then Happily in the Truman and keep the contract and count him in the secret passageway and then they're on time and Dramatic finish to the race, Sierra Vista Medusa falling at the last and Uptown Lady missed out two or three fences, if she did jump them well, she might well have won that, but King's Measure, didn't take nothing away from him, won that from out of the handicap, King's Measure wins it for John Morgan, Uptown Lady for Jim Murray second, happily Darren Thompson third, the tree man, Joshua Sutherland fourth, and keep the contract for Craig Beckwith, ran on really well into fifth, so keep your eye on that one maybe, in the Welsh National or something, if it's going to be making up ground like that.